Ah, yes. Good morning, good day, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you might be. I have a question for, well, pretty much anybody, especially geologists or academics. Please explain to me how everything I'm about ready to show you, all these creatures or carcasses on Earth, are geological coincidences. I'd like somebody to explain how these are just geological coincidences all these creatures. This here is a dragon. Okay? If you come in here and actually really look at it. You'll see it's got all the crowns up here. It's horns on this half of it. And they're identical on this side. The shadows are. Okay? That's its right eye. It's, it's, it's head's kind of cocked like this, and the, the left eye's over right over here. You got the brow coming down to the nose down here. Now, you tell me how these mountains formed in a V like that, right to a mouth right down here. Okay? I mean, it's got its bearding. Right along through here and down through here. And then we're going to go over here and look at something else. A dragon and a fish. See, mythology, mythology talks about all this stuff, but yeah, we just all, you know, academia shined it on. And it's just, you got a fish right here. I mean, you can come down and see its scales. You got a dragon right here. Its legs right here, and it's and this isn't paradolia. This isn't that. This is not cognitive dissonance. Dissonance. How you ever pronounce that? Dishonest. Uh, you can come in here and you can see the you can even see this dragon's head, its throat, all of its you know feathers. It's turned to well, fluting where it was down its back. The feathers where it was down its back through here. You can come in here and see where it spewed down onto the fish and it's eating the fish. Or uh, some kind of toxin or something that spewed out onto the fish. And, I, and this is not pareidolia. Okay? You go down here to the South Pole. And you have a snake's head that's anatomically correct on everything. The infrared sensors on the nose, the eye, or left eye, the right eye, and the rest of the head. The East Coast Dragon. You can come in and see its head, these cra the feathers up here on top of it standing up like that. You can come in and see the throat. You tell me how geology just formed that like that. Seriously. And you got the you got the back end of the of it right here. You got all the all this feathering. Look at this feathering in here. Are you kidding me? Well, that just geologically did that. I'll tell you, some of these people <laughs> just amazes me. And then you come over here. Over here in Germany. And this, some of these are kind of hard to see because, you know, people's cities and everything on them, and, you know, the lands, you know, a lot of the timber's been cleared away, and so it kind of distorts things. But you have, actually, a dragon laying out right here. This was, its head's right here, and the rest of it goes out like this, like this, back in here, like this, and over into here.
and I can show you it drawn out a little better and then you'll see it you can see the head right here I think that's just a coincidence huh a geological coincidence show you something this is my friend Rocco's channel you can see the heads right here and that's like that dragon laying right here he's gonna draw it out for you real quick there you go let me back up just a little bit that's how it's laying right like that if you come in here and look at this that's exactly that's what it looks like okay Faf Fafner the worm dragon so you've got that one there I mean this stuff's all over the earth some of them are hard to figure out because it's actually ripped apart and pieces are spread out because the continents were time one time all together and so it's uh once they separate, some body parts are on other continents, some are under the oceans we can't see. And then we come over here by the China Dragon. And up in this corner, Dragon quasi coral. That's actually the top layer of a bilipid membrane. That's what that is. Just like the stuff I've shown you up north of the other membrane. And this is all erosion or decay, taffany around the edges. The other one up and uh, the one I show you up north doesn't have the taffany. It doesn't have the decay like this one does. 
Here's that membrane, the top layer of it. This is the the, the uh, in between the two layers of the membrane, but this is the side of that membrane. This is 100% biology. Here's look at this. There's more taffany right here. This is a taffany. This is the decay. This is actually decay. And it's being eroded off from the ocean. Okay. The ocean's not causing it. Look at it down in here. It's all gone already. Oh, you see more of it down there. But the ocean's actually removing the decay. The ta their, their theory on taffany is absolute lie. An absolute crock. The biggest crock of poo-poo I've ever seen in my life. There you go, there's taffany up close. And it's being eroded off. You can see how it's even more rounded. It'd be more pronounced. Pronounced if it was making it. It'd be deeper. These pits would be deeper. But it's removing the decay. That's what's going on. I mean, look at this stuff. No one can, no one can explain to me what the sediment is. It's a sediment deposit with geological uplift. Then tell me what all the sediment is. Well... Show me where it sticks in rocks and shrubs or anything. Show me anything that's volcanic in it. Show me where it's volcanic that's debris. It's totally different than the stuff I show you up north. You see what I'm saying? So there's more of your taffany right there. I mean, this is, oh well, they're never going to see it. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up right there. But I'd like somebody to explain all this stuff geologically to me, how it formed these carcasses on Earth, and there's a geological coincidence, yada, yada. If somebody could do that for me, that'd be awesome. I'm all ears. Anytime anybody wants somebody, some geologist or academic that knows it all can explain it to me. And I can understand why they see what they're seeing on some stuff like the sediment, you know, thinking that's sediment. But the rest of this, there ain't no way. And that's not sediment either, by the way. I will close with this. This is up north from where the stuff I just showed you. This is another bilip bilipid membrane like the one I just showed you, the top layer of the one. But this one has both layers here intact that you can see. The bottom layer, in between, and the top layer. This is a bilipid, two, two of these. You tell me how this is formed geologically, because this is not eroded basalt. This is all solid sandstone. Okay? Intrusive basalt does not transition to silicone dioxide. It's impossible. Okay? And it didn't erode down, and it's not wasn't intrusive basalt, just eroded intrusive basalt. That is an absolute lie absolute bald-faced lie I understand geological theory and that's a pile of poo-poo for them to even think that these are the transfer channels in a bilipid membrane okay and there's actually four layers to this you have a cap on the bottom and a cap on the top to to seal in these two layers in between each other okay there's actually four layers to it. I've shown it before And here's the layers here that cap the top of it, and they're they're smoother on the top. I've been over this a hundred times, and they're a hundred percent wrong. They just can't handle their their mind. You know what? They're the ones that have a problem, not us. So they think they hold the keys to knowledge, and they're so full of it their eyes are brown. Now I'll just leave it at that. So Paul, if you're listening, a geologist down in Australia that works for British Petroleum and Chevron, the lead geologist. Your eyes are brown, buddy, for a reason. Because you're full of it. Absolute full of it. All these academics are. They've steered people completely away from God with their lies and their BS. Bunch of, bunch of dog poo-poo. That's a stinky, stinky, stinky dog poo-poo that you get on your shoe. That's what they're feeding, a stinky poo-poo. Okay? I'm sorry, but it is what it is. You know, if they can't handle it, you can't handle it. All right. So, I'm all ears of some academic or anybody explain to how me this is a geological coincidence. And well, it's just pareidolia. Yeah. And your eyes are brown.
<laughs> for a reason. <laughs> All right. Have a blessed day and catch you on a flip-flop. Bye-bye now.